Nestled in the lush green hills, this community has numerous teenage school dropouts who are already pregnant. Some have put to bed. 17-year-old Efia Ando, not her real name, is heavily pregnant and in her third trimester. She got impregnated by her 21-year-old boyfriend who is into illegal mining. Reeling under poverty, she was influenced by the money her boyfriend gives to her. She dropped out of school in her fifth month of pregnancy after her bump started protruding. Coupled with mockery from colleague students, she decided to quit. Let me show you from school school. In the middle of our conversation, her water broke. She will soon be in labor. Teenage pregnancy as high in Chibi in the eastern region as young men engage in illegal mining in the area, popularly known as Galamse in Ghana, use money to lure young girls here into sexual activities. Dora Ohene, also not her real name, 16, is a victim. Now a mother, her hopes of becoming a nurse in the future appear crushed. With a child wrapped on her back, she travels to a neighboring town to buy foodstuff to cook and sell. <laughs> She said the father of the baby, 17, who is into illegal mining in the area, denied the pregnancy. She's been left alone to cater for her child. She has hopes of going back to school, but poverty bites harder in her family. I think because I'm using, because I'm using the omission in from normal school school, I'm not feeling it yet. It's a story that more and more of Chebi's young girls share due to inequality, the given to sexual advances for survival. I'm the mother of one. Okay, clap for her. When she became pregnant, it was out of the norm. It brought shame to her, and she even had suicidal thoughts. This is the predicament of 15-year-old Tracy Aga, not her real name, who has gathered courage to return to school months after delivery. She's in junior high school three and juggling schoolwork while looking after her one-year-old son. I asked the farm boy that he should give me pencils and he told me that before he will give me the money, he wants to have sex with me. So as for me, I tried to run us from the room, but he forced me to lock the door. I have sex with him, but I got pregnant. She's alone and abandoned by the baby's father, who is an 18 year old student and a part time minor. She takes a 30 minute walk home every lunch break to breastfeed her baby. Her grandmother assists in caring for the child to lessen the burden on Tracy so she can be in school. The boy was doing mining at a shelf. He called me to come and collect some medicine to clear the baby. And when I was going, I threw the medicine away. Come for medicine to clear the baby. The boy. Right now, he is dating another girl, so he don't come to my house to visit me and the child. She does not want to give up on education because she believes there's a brighter future ahead for her and her baby. But Tracy is the only girl to set such a record in the community. The rest of the teenage mothers look for handy jobs oh, after delivery. Okay. In the Methodist Basic School in Chibi, 10 girls have dropped out of school this year alone because they became pregnant. They never returned. We are having a chef coordinator here telling them about how to take care of themselves and also trying to explain to them why it is necessary to abstain from sexual activities. Unlike Tracy, Abigail Mansa, not her real name, 16, is four months pregnant to a 17-year-old minor.
According to the assemblyman for the area, quite a number of them have died after trying abortions. We've tried every means possible to reduce it, reduce it to the barest minimum, if not to eradicate it entirely. Now, and most of the times, it is often due to, let me say, poverty and negligence on the part of the parents. The district hospital in the community says three girls between the ages of 10 and 14 years and 80 adolescent girls between 15 and 19 years this year got pregnant. For us, when they come and they are in labor, especially between the 14 and between the 10 to 14, it's a very, it's a very troublesome this thing. They are not, the pain that associated with it, they don't cooperate well, they have end up having complications and all. Amongst many, these young girls are prone to several sexual and reproductive health consequences, including sexual transmitted infections, repeated pregnancies, fistula, break in education aspirations, and other postpartum reproductive challenges. A child rights activist says it is not normal for any girl to go through such an experience. Anything done to the child at that particular age is deemed not to take place at all. People have committed offense, and which, of course, need to be dealt with, especially where the source is coming from issues of galamse, and then also how people are using money to influence the decisions of children. Between 2016 and 2020, Ghana recorded 542,131 amongst adolescent girls aged 15 to 19 years and 13,444 pregnancies amongst young teenagers aged 10 to 14 years, according to the Ghana Health Service. Not only are these numbers worrying, but also a critical concern that has lifetime ramifications on the life health, wealth, and well-being of the adolescents. Here at Chebi Apepem, the rate at which young girls are getting pregnant is worrisome. A 2022 survey report by UNICEF Ghana indicates among adolescent girls aged 15 to 19 years, 14% have had a live birth or are currently pregnant with their first child. Poverty is what drives these young girls to sleep with the illegal young minors for money and their situation begs for urgent attention. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Chibi, Eastern Region.